An ideal gas is in a closed container, which changes to its volume and temperature when taken together must cause a decrease in the gas pressure. Okay, uh, it starts with an ideal gas. As soon as you see that an ideal gas, then you most likely can use the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT. And then, let's see, what do they ask for? Cause a decrease in gas pressure. If they are asking for gas pressure, then we need to solve the equation for pressure, for P here. So, P is equals to nRT over V. Now, which changes to its volume and temperature? Volume and temperature do decrease the gas pressure. Now, if you want to decrease pressure, then you can on the other side of the equal sign. So you have an equal sign. If this is goes down, then temperature can goes down. If you want the pressure to go down, you can do that by decrease the temperature. So decrease of temperature is correct. But you know, according to the laws of mathematics, that if you increase the, the, the number in the denominator, that is the volume here now. If you increase this value, the quotient here will be decreased. Therefore, if we increase volume, if we increase the value of the denominator, the quotient will, will get smaller, therefore the pressure will get smaller, or we will have a decrease in pressure. And the, the options with two correct things here is D. So the answer is D.